Hi everyone, Liz here, thanks for stopping by. So I've got a parcel today and it has just literally arrived this afternoon and I thought, right, I'm going to get into it and have a look because I know I've got some things that I want to use for August and yeah, I thought you might like to have a look at them with me. Okay, this parcel has come to us from the good people at OneDaySaving.com. There are lots of special offers on at the moment, so if you go and check them out, um, there's if you get orders over $50, you can select two free gifts and add them to your cart. And there's different offers on postage and things like that, shipping and things like that. So always double check all the special offers and things uh, before you get started. And I do have um, a code as well that they have kindly given me. So if you do want to order anything, if you use Liz05, I'll put it in the comments down below as well and across the screen, then you do get 5% off your order. So yay, win-win, you get to save. It's not an affiliate code. I don't get anything for um, you using that code, but it just gives you a little bit of money off, which is great. Okay, so let's have a look at what we got. So we've got a box. We always like boxes. And we've got ooh, a diamond painting. And what looks like, oh, I don't know what that could be, a small one. And ooh, another diamond painting. And then, oh, another little package. Okay. So thank you ever so much to One Day Saving for sending me these. Um, I have worked with them in the past and I've been really pleased with everything I've got. So, yeah, when they asked me if I'd like some more products to show, I said, yes, of course, love them. Okay, what shall we look at first? Let's have a look at the pen first because I can see what that is. And then we'll have a look at the paintings and we'll leave the box for last. Ooh. Okay, so this is an acrylic pen. And let's see if I can get into it. And at the moment on the website, these are £4.62, which I mean under £5. Do you know, I'm just going to use my scissors because I can't find it. <laughs> okay, so this is absolutely gorgeous. We have a lovely resin pen and it's got like seaweedy type leaves or grass in it with these gorgeous little hot pink flowers. And you know me, anything hot pink, I just had to have it. I say for under £5, you just can't go wrong. That's amazing. Uh, it's got a little, I would say that's probably, that's probably a five or a six placer on that end and a single placer on that end. Uh, but you can change them out. These will come out so you can uh, add your own multi-placers or your own straighteners or any of your metal tips or anything that you've got. There's no problem with that, but that is gorgeous. It's quite a nice weight as well. And um, for me, the little bumps, the little grooves in it are just in the right place to use. So, yeah, that's uh, really, really pretty. But look at those flowers. Are they not just absolutely gorgeous? I think they do four or five different ones. So if you check out the website and uh, see which ones they've got. But if you collect your pens, I mean, at that price, you may as well just add this one to your collection. <laughs> Or maybe all of them. Uh, but yeah, I know I certainly will be looking at the others now. I just wanted to see what they were like, but they certainly seem very, very pretty. It's very clever how they do that, isn't it? Getting that flower to stay open in that pen there so that the petals are all still there. Because they must have to pour the resin or whatever or the liquid onto them. I'm thinking it must be resin inside and then they maybe put an acrylic coating on it. But it's very smooth. There's no rough edges or anything, no bubbles or anything. It just feels like one whole piece. Fascinates me, resin. I don't like watching it on YouTube as well. <laughs> so the actual pen barrel without the multiplacers is about five inches, which is 13 centimetres. So it's a nice size. It's not a bad weight. Uh, yeah, I will uh, be giving that one a go. That is just so pretty. Do you know, I could just sit and look at that for hours. You just sort of like spot something slightly different each time you look. Very pretty. So, yeah, that's item number one. Thank you very much. And let's have a look at this one because it's practically out showing us what it is already. So let's have a look and see. Um, I was thinking of smashing the specials. 
for August when I ordered these. I thought I might as well get some that I can do while smashing the specials is off. And this one is, oh look, it's mummy and baby giraffe. Oh, oh, oh. oh look at those drills. Oh, lovely, like those. Okay, so it's a little picture, 30 by 30. And it's special drill. So it counts for smashing the specials. And you'll find that most um, of these special drills are partials which means that the background doesn't have any drills on it it is just literally sort of the main picture bits and in this case it's mummy or daddy giraffe with a little baby look and they're just sort of nose to nose that is an absolute look of love just saying mum i need a cuddle and how on earth would a giraffe cuddle because the legs and necks are that long so they've just gone forehead to forehead just to have a little bit of a snuggle. Oh, that is absolutely sweet. I love that. Really gorgeous. You know me, I like anything cutesy and animals. Okay, so it's seven different uh, gems and colours. And we've got a key code at both sides, which is always handy. Okay, and this one is a 24 centimetres, which is nine, just nearly nine and a half inches by 24 centimetres, which yeah, nine and a half inches. So they're only rough guides the size just to give you an idea on the size. But, oh, I just thought, mum and baby, it'd be lovely Mother's Day or Father's Day card, that wouldn't it? You, because you find the specials not aren't quite as heavy. Um, so you can cut the picture out and actually put it onto a large card, which I have done in the past. And I have got a video uh, showing making a couple of cards and I will be doing another one. Um, I must get that done. <laughs> OK, and this has just got your basic toolkit again, your pen, your boat, your wax and your tweezers. And as I say, I have found a use for the tweezers for putting uh, gems and things on and using my silicon glue. So finally found a use for them. And this one on the website at the moment is £3.30. So a lovely little price for a gorgeous little painting. Just to go in a little side spot in your room somewhere or in a bedroom or, uh, well, anywhere really. It's just pretty. It'd even go in your kitchen, wouldn't it, if you like giraffes? Have a look at these sparkly gems. We've got quite a few specials, so these will be like the main giraffe colours I'm thinking, which is like your goldy colour. These are your little crystal gems and like a peachy orange colour. And then we've got a sort of a darky brown colour and then like a bronzy brown colour and another sort of ambery orange colour. And then we've got these gorgeous uh, faceted larger rounds that have got an AB coating on. That's Aurora Borealis, which is just an iridescent coating to put on them. And then we've got these, which I'm presuming are going to be all of these shapes, like little flower triangle shapes on the giraffes. Um, and they're what I call owl, owl claws, because most of the pictures I've done of owls have had these like little teardrop shapes as the claws on the owls. So yeah, very, very pretty. Nice little colour palette, that one. Sort of all the oranges with the pale bluey grey in the background. Oh, that look really sweet. Okay, so that's canvas number one. I'll put that to that side of that pen, otherwise it's likely to roll. <laughs> and then let's have a look at this one, because we can see this one as well. And this one just spoke to me. I just saw this. Again, it's one that I've had on my wish list for a while and I thought, shall I shine time? And I just thought, I'm going to have this one because I do think it's uh, very different. And yeah, it will look really good when it's done. Okay. Oh, special drills in bags. We like that. Okay. Pen, boat and wax and toolkit. And it's a hand. That is a huge hand, isn't it? Wow, look at the size of that. I mean, I've got big hands, to be fair, but that is an enormous hand. <laughs> and this has 20 different 
gems and colours. 20. My goodness me. And it's just a 30 by 30 painting. So, yeah. 20 different colours. That is a lot on one small picture. Okay, but yeah, as you can see. So I have got large hands and that is a large hand. But I'm not quite sure. I, probably this will go in my craft room because it's like a crafting hand, isn't it? With all your different colours and things on it and different gems. We've even got like a snake type shape there and flowers and all sorts on it. Let me know in the comments, where would you put this if you had this one? Where would you think would be a good place to put it? Unless it's uh, in your hallway, I suppose, as people come in and out the door, it could be, hello, or it could be, oh, thank goodness you're going, bye. <laughs> Or a big hand to shove them out the door if you're not quite keen on them. <laughs> Maybe that's just me. Okay, so that's directed at nobody in particular, by the way. Uh, 24 centimetres in size, nine and a half inches, same as the other one. And yep, we're 24 centimetres square, so yeah. I always double check both sides because sometimes they're not quite square, but these are. So let's have a look at those gems. Goodness me. Wow. What was the price of this one? Let me just double check. Okay, this one is a £3.13. So again, £3, 20 different gems in it. Wow. Really good value. Okay, let me see if I can get in those. There it is. Aha, you've not caught me out this time. <laughs> Uh, and I, what I like about ones that come in grip seal bags that they're already bagged up is the fact that you literally need nothing else to do your diamond painting. You have your kit. So if you wanted to say take this away on holiday or whatever with you, you don't need to take anything else. You've got pen, boat and wax. So you've got your boat to put your gems in. You've got your pen. Oh, you've even got some little grip seal bags with this one as well. And you've got your wax. So that's everything you need to put your gems onto your painting. And then you don't even need scissors to open the bags because they're little grip seal bags. Wonderful, absolutely wonderful. So let's have a look at these. We'll start at this end then because we're on number 20. So looks like these are more or less all shapes and things. So we've got some round little green ones with an AB coating. We've got some gold marquees. Okay. We've got some little teardrops teeny tiny teardrops in silver we've got a gold just plain gem we've got oh, owl claws again which are those little teardrops in our orange with the ab coating we've got some gold which are your half spheres uh, with no facets we have some of the larger red which have no facets then we're back to gems again, and these are pink, nice pinky colour. And oh, look at that, that's like a, a very deep red, lovely. All these different colours. And an aqua blue. And then we've got a, a nice deep gold colour. Okay. And then, oh, we've got a, a white AB. So that's your 5200 white AB. I think you can more or less see the coating on them. Can really show up in the camera. We've got a marquee uh, with like an AB coating that's like a, a reddy, purpley colour. We've got your aqua AB coating there. And then we've got your blue teardrops with an AB coating. We've got your yellow there which is like a very pale lemony colour and they have no facets on them so they're just like a roundy gem. We've got your green which are just like a very pale pretty green. Oh look at those, they're teardrops. They're like red with an iridescent coating on. And then number one is around with an iridescent coating on. Okay, very, very pretty. Right. Pop 
turn this away. Okay, so that's that one. What I'm going to do is save these two, to keep you guessing, for the next video. So you'll have to come back and see what these are. So watch this space. <laughs> okay, so this time then we've had the lovely hand special drill, smashing the specials. We've had the very sweet mummy and baby giraffes. Okay, so that's those. And then we've had this wonderful pen, which is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, for under £5, just why wouldn't you? <laughs> Shall I put it in the hand? <laughs> it can do some diamond painting. <laughs> okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me. If you have, a thumbs up is always much appreciated. If you've got any comments or questions if you leave them in the comments down below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can and if you want to come back and see part two and see what i get up to next then i'd love you to come and subscribe by just pressing this button in the corner it doesn't cost anything doesn't uh, sign you up to anything it just literally means that the next time you log on to youtube you'll get a little thing that pops up that says liz has uploaded a video why not come and see it <laughs> which i would love you to do Okay, well, thank you ever so much for stopping by. Thank you to One Day Saving for sending me these fantastic goodies. I love them. These will be hopefully done during August, smashing the specials, so you'll get to see the completion reviews as well. So thanks ever so much for stopping by, and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.